Tell us about uh, the situation right here, or because you've been in other towns too. Uh, can you explain us about how do you feel uh, about this situation right here when you work as a worker, as an ambulance worker here? I've been in Janine and Ramallah, you know, all over the West Bank. But I've worked in Janine and Hebron, as well as Nablus. And Nablus is the worst situation in the West Bank, and that's why I like to be here. Um, it's, it's the only city that's completely... Every road out of here is blocked by checkpoints 24 hours a day. So, and every night there's military incursions, as you saw earlier. And it's, it's a hot spot for. Did you want to break for him? No, no, it's okay. Okay. It's a hot spot for um, the militia. I mean, there's militias in every city, part of the city. You know, you call them freedom fighters, or the Israelis call them terrorists, or threats to the Israeli state, whatever. But it's definitely the worst situation. Um, when you come here, I remember coming here, and you know, your shoulders kind of tense up. But that's after the first month or two, and now it's, um, it's a lot easier. But, I mean, there's gunshots every night. You just get used to it. It's, um, you know, and the people here have been dealing with it their whole lives. Are you totally integra integrated here? Do you feel some kind of distance, still still kind of distance with the other? How do you feel uh, inside this society? Um, I, of course, I'm always going to be a foreigner. I can't speak the language or understand everything they say. But when I first got here, I kind of had this Western type of, a lot of Western habits. So now, like, you know, hold hands with the guys, and it's completely natural. In America, it's like, homophobic, you can't do that. You know, kiss them on the cheeks, on the forehead, you know, have their hands around, you know, it's, it's really nice. Um, and then also, the whole eating style, it's eating in groups, and they taught me how to, you know, break off small pieces of bread and have just one bite, and all the little things that are culturally really nice. What do you think uh, we should learn from, from them as a uh, European or American? What we should yeah. learn from them? I think one of the things uh, that maybe was in me a little bit when I first started but got blown away pretty quick was this whole thing like, oh, we're some rich Western white guy going to come help save the little poor people who are oppressed. And... You know, they're really well educated and have a lot of college education, a really high level college education here. And they're really um, capable and talented. They're just under a military occupation for the last, whatever, 40 years. Um, so just coming here and not being like, oh, I'm going to save something. It's just, there's plenty of Palestinians who have come to the U.S., so why is it so, why is it so weird or extraordinary that an American would come to Palestine. I like it here. I really, really like being here, and I really, really like working with these guys and being their friend. And, uh, it's just been a really wonderful experience that I'm going to do again in the future. Okay, and uh, yes, your addiction is, seems to be very, very high because you told us uh, later that uh, you wanted you, you've been you've, you've been trying to enter in Gaza too to work in Gaza, or mm -hmm. and you told us about also that you are planning to go to Darfur. I've or to go you you would like to? Darfur. Can you explain us uh, why would you like to take so many risks? Because there are so, lots of risks, and uh, why did you want to still go there? And why can you explain us that? Yeah, I, I just I, two things. I love adventure; it's a lot of fun, and I like to see the world, and. If you see things, if you see Palestine in the news, or if you see Darfur or whatever, it's it's completely different than being here. And if you're here for a few weeks, it's completely different than being here for six months. So I want to go and break that my image of these places and of these people. Okay. And uh, could you tell us about uh, what you told to to your family and your parents while uh, you are here? We we want yeah. we want to show them. Um, well, the first time I came, my, my, 
Well, um, yeah. I'm, I'm more of a Christian a Buddhist type guy, but my father happens to be Jewish, and when I first came here, he kind of disowned me. So, um, that was two years ago, and that's out of the picture, so all I've left is my mom. And my first time I came here, my mom said it was the worst, uh, or the most stressed, like, most worried she's been about me. And she has... I said, Mom, you know, I was, in California, I was a, a, a forest activist, so I lived in ancient redwood trees to protect them from being cut down, which is pretty dangerous um, at a lot of different times. And she said it was, she was more worried about me being here, so when I came back again, I decided not to tell her, just for her health, and it was the, be it was the, it was the right choice. Okay. Uh, she thinks I'm in California. Yes, <laughs> and you're still calling and sending mails that you're telling Yeah, you? on Skype I call, and uh, you have to time it right, because when the mosques go off five times a day over the city on loudspeakers, it's just really beautiful, and it echoes on the hills, and there's nothing like this in, in America, nothing I've ever experienced. It's a real treat. And so you got to time your calls so the mosques can't go off while you're calling. It'd be an awkward moment. And uh, what the... Do the usually the, the, do the Israeli soldiers tell you when uh, they see you as a volunteer, an American guy working with the uh, Palestinian people? What do they tell you? Or they first of all ask me like, it's all different. But um, are you Muslim? Like, why would you want to be here? Um, uh, oh, this is a dangerous place. Why are you here? This is a very dangerous place. And well, it's a dangerous place for an invading army. It's a dangerous place for Israeli soldiers because you as a soldier are not welcome here, and but it, not for a medic, not for somebody coming with just peaceful... Yeah, I've never felt it in danger from 